Welcome back, everybody. Uh, glad you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about limited visual inspections for commercial swimming pools, and this goes for spas and splash pads as well. So it's really important when performing a diagnostic for service and repair that we get a good handle on the problems facing the customer. And we can't do that without first inspecting the area. So they may know that they have a filtration issue. They may know their pump is broken, but they may not be aware of other issues impacting the performance of the facility. So we always start by walking around the swimming pool and taking a look at what it is or what condition their facility is in. Uh, we want to look at the plaster, we want to look at the tile, we want to look at any items on the deck like lifts, ladders, okay, we're looking for making sure their main drain covers are in place, we're making sure that their return outlets are in place, and we're looking at the condition of the facility in general. Uh, is there disrepair to the deck? Are they missing their deck tiles? Uh, is, does the gate work? We'll see. Uh, sometimes things will jump out at you and, and, and you want to take a closer look. So uh, we also want to make sure we understand the size of the facility. So while walking around the pool, we can get a, a uh, gauge its, its depth, its length, its width. What is the volume of that swimming pool? We can already be thinking what sort of turnover rate do we need to be having? Uh, maybe we see something that could be a safety risk. Uh, all of these things we want to kind of get our head around. Then we want to move into the equipment room and do just a quick inspection of the function of the facility. Is the pump running properly? Are the valves able to be actuated? Are there leaks? If, they're, if so, where are they coming from? We also want to look at the general condition of the equipment. Is there signs that the motor is overheated? Is the plumbing undersized? Is the flow meter and the pressure gauges, are they properly installed and working? Other equipment issues of some sort, uh, corrosion, missing nuts and bolts. We can look at the way the piping is run. Is it efficient? So the limited visual inspection, the purpose of this is to get an understanding of the facility's operation as a whole uh, so that once we narrow our search down into the actual deficiencies of a specific piece of equipment and what it's going to take to fix that, our solution is going to uh, be consistent with the needs of the facility, whether it's the size of the pump that we're going to recommend, if it's the uh, voltage of the lights that we're going to recommend, you know, the pro is, the, is the housing the proper size, will the filter fit in the room, all of these sorts of things. Um, so you can see here I'm checking the safety device uh, on the heater, uh, looking at how the heater bypass piping is run. Very important to, to get an idea of the condition of the overall facility, you know. Uh, yes, they might just need an impeller replaced, but if there's signs of damage to other equipment, we want to make sure that they're aware of that. We want to take that into account. So Richard and I did this inspection last week in Baton Rouge for a customer that was looking to get a better understanding of their overall operation. Thank you to Richard for helping to film this. We can see uh, that they were in relatively good condition and that they didn't have any serious uh, safety or mechanical issues going on. We will be going over how to properly audit equipment in the next video. So this is just a limited visual inspection, what to do when we first arrive, and we'll be taking a closer look at diving into individual pieces of equipment next time.